Got diamond in her arms, diamond in her ears. She even wore that diamond for a year. I'm trying to treat you special like no one else. My baby skips the night time in the sideline just to show me it's mine. I'm trying to treat you special like no one ever did. No. I've been on Party Next Door all fucking week, but what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, OGT Man, and I know it's been, what, two days since I post, but it was due to some job complications, and now I'm going to be posting reaction videos up until, you know, I get my stuff together. But today, we got J. Cole is dropping Clown versus Now. Now, I hope this is not because of what... Kendrick said to you, I hope this ain't, cause, yeah, this need to get fixed, my brother. I can't, I can't be sitting up here listening to you drop some boo-boo. I can't, I can't. But anyways, let's get to the video. Enough wasting your time. What's pop, y'all? I'm going to need us to push the reset button like you do on the back of the router. When you need a little pin, you can't just push the button. You've got to have something not sharp, but a very thin, maybe even toothpick to press it. Just so we get a reset button on Drake and J. Cole, J. Fold. Because what is going on with these guys, man? I don't know what Kendrick did to them. He did quite a number. And this is one thing I don't like. Kendrick seems way greater than he actually is. Damn. Listen, I will give credit where credit is due. Kendrick Lamar easily, easily bumped up. If somebody told me Kendrick Lamar is top three all time right now, I wouldn't even think twice about it. So this isn't to say that Kendrick Lamar isn't great. But <laughs> the way that Drake and Cole are moving, especially since this beef kicked off, mostly Cole, but Drake since he took the L, it makes it seem like Kendrick Lamar is some super soldier or some amazing got gabriella I had already but damn that is true they they've been moving they've been moving a little funny i ain't been hearing no good shit from them in a hot minute and it just hurts my soul nigga it just hurts my soul because i miss the old i miss the old j cole i miss the old drake or some some supernatural figure like some kryptonite that anybody that talks about him is just bound for misfortune because j cole recently in his first pop out since this whole since him folding pretty much yeah i realized i've been saying that a lot lately that's good that's gonna stop since the beef i would say is almost ended not completely because there still will be shots taken however j cole he folded early on this is the first time we're seeing him since. And the first feature that we saw from Drake was the one on the Sexy Red song, mm. which that song is absolute garbage. It's the inverse of this song, though, because Drake's yeah. verse on that is actually pretty good. And I told you guys I didn't like the fact that he tried to spin the BBL Drizzy thing. I think he was better off just ignoring that. However, on this song, it's a Cash Cobain song, Grippy. I've been hearing about this guy for so long now well not so long probably people that have been listening to this guy for at least a year or two if not more i've been hearing about this guy for four months i would say i heard about the fisher song where he had ice spice on the remix i know he's from new york and when i say the inverse this song it's actually good on cash cobain's part as opposed to sexy red where she was trash on that song so cash cobain is good on here but j cole it's just straight garbage. This, I don't know what made J. Cole think, hey, I fit on a track like this. Mm -hmm. now, you guys have heard this. People have, it's a viral trend to make fun of this song. And it even proves Ye right when he says, yo, play J. Cole, make that cat dry. And J. Cole is on here just rapping amok, just some nonsense. This is the thing. People said J. Cole, sh there were different sentiments. Some people said that J. Cole shouldn't be rapping like this or they don't expect J. Cole to rap like this. I'm not going to go that far. It's just the melody and the way that J. Cole rapped on this is just bad. 
Like for instance, if he started it off with maybe four to six bars with that type of melody that he was doing, and then he actually gets to rapping, I would say otherwise. I'd be like, okay, he's getting into his bag. And he could be rapping about the stuff that he's rapping about on there. Although we've never really seen J. Cole kind of just, I wouldn't say never. It's very rare you see J. Cole just talk about a, yo, a whole verse just off of some like explicit talk about like getting some cat. Yeah, um, that that ain't J. Cole. Yeah, I, I will say that for that. Uh, Oh, yeah. yeah, J. Cole is like a philosophical rapper. Like he, he the he the nigga who be having those type of bars that make you have to go back and re-listen to it. Like, damn, mm, that shit tough, bro. Like he one of them rappers. So, yeah, I don't know. He need to work on, or maybe he just, maybe he just one good enough on this song. Maybe that might be the case. I don't know. Let's get back to real. Come on, dog. Like, I'm going to pay a little extra. Make sure they meet Mickey. I'm going to send all your kids to Disney. What? Hey, what? what are we doing here? And this is this is another. Th yeah, I, just, <laughs> I just looked at that bar and I realized what I was reading. This guy's talking about sending a, a chick's kids to Disney. <laughs> no. Have y'all seen Disney prices now? It's not a game. It's really not a game. This is why I take this bar seriously. He might as well have said he, he, he bought her a Birkin. Well, if he bought her a Birkin, that's for her. He's buying her kids some stuff at Disney. Not co-signing either one. I just heard this, and I was in utter disbelief. Because this was going viral before I listened to it. Like I said, I don't really listen to this Cash Cobain guy. I probably will more now. Because credit to this guy, the New York rappers that we've seen come out in the past couple of years, they have been... I wouldn't just say less than stellar. I would say either they suck or they're drill artists or active in some nonsense. I don't know too much about this guy, but his music seems to be kind of upbeat, not positive in the sense of, hey, this is pushing something, whatever you want to call it. I would say it's positive, generally. The This Cash Cobain dude, from what I've heard, I've heard. Hey, Ryan Reynolds here. What's good, my boy? Gotta go watch that movie, Paul, guys. No, that... Wait, damn. That ain't him. My bad. So, hey, forgive me if I'm wrong, even though I don't apologize. Sure. But I kind of like it to see someone kind of doing their thing. When was the last artist that we saw from New York that was really, really building up steam? Male artist. Because Ice Spice kind of did that. She wasn't... Wow. She was making drill music, mm. drill sounding music. Mm. But come on. We know what she's on. So Cash Cobain, he's good on this track. J. Cole, and J. Cole is the opener to the track. So this guy comes in with the verse. And it's just two verses, or it's just verses. I don't even think they have a hook on here, do they? I don't think so. It's just like grippy. Like, what do we, I just can't. This is the thing. This isn't even a J. Cole thing. That's the point that I want to make. If you took Drake, so for example, Drake raps about chicks all the time, right? If you took Drake, and you gave him this verse, and he performed this verse, I would be reacting the same exact way, and I'd sincerely hope you guys would be reacting the same exact way too. You'd be like, what the hell is Drake doing here? And it's not, what is he doing on this song? What is he doing on this song? Like, the fact that he wanted to give this guy a feature, no issue with that. I would like to hear the story about how that came together though, because it's quite odd, although some people will say that it was odd that J. Cole wanted to work with Youngboy. But keep in mind, Youngboy was way, way, way bigger than Cash Cobain. And Cash Cobain's in New York. Is J. Cole still in New York? Yeah, I know he spends a lot of time there. It's like, yo, this guy's talking about kissy emoji. She if I weren't... <laughs> mm. I want to believe that somebody wrote this for J. Cole. That's how... Well, not... I don't look at him as highly anymore, but... That's how much respect I have for J. Cole's writing and just ability to discern what's good or not. Sure, the decision-making with the beef, I've had my take on that. But when it comes to writing songs, putting together good verses, Cole is a master at that. So I want to believe that somebody else wrote this for him because I don't want to let my mind accept the possibility that J. Cole 
listen to this track, pen these bars, perform them, heard it multiple times after and thought, yeah, this is the one they're going to mess with this one, especially mm -hmm. after this whole thing that just happened with me pretty much folding on the beef with Drake and Kendrick Lamar. I almost had nothing to say because I'm just in awe looking at some of these lyrics. She thick in the hips, she a hippie. What? What is this guy saying? She gonna chew. Okay, so this is a decent bar. She gonna chew on the stick like it's Wrigley's. That's really not not a bad bar either. But then he says, believe it or not, like Ripley. Like, what? <laughs> J. Cole stands, please. J. Cole stands have been quiet. I know I told you guys to be quiet when this beef started kicking off. I was like, hey, go sit down somewhere. It's time out. It's, yeah, cause it's off season. He, no pun intended. It's time for you up. guys to just clock out. You're allowed to choose a different side. You're allowed to hop on with Drake or Kendrick Lamar, whichever you see fit. But I need J. Cole stands to stand up, please. I need your guys' insight. It's time to come off the bench. It's Coach HY here. Well, not really coach. I'm scouting. I'm scouting bench players. Turn to starters. Please let me know what you guys think about this. There's no... I want to know if you like this verse... Please tell me why. That's that's more so I want to... Because if you don't like this, it's normal. This is garbage. But if you do like this, of course you can't explain it, but just give me a brief explanation as to why. Like, tell me, like, ah, nah, you know, it's a fun song. I got to see J. Cole in a different light. I like Cash Cobain, so this made me enjoy J. Cole. If you're a Cash Cobain fan, mainly, and not a J. Cole fan, like you don't really listen to J. Cole in general, but you like him on this track, you don't count. I'm talking strictly J. Cole stand slash fans because mm -hmm. i need somebody's somebody's got to talk because this is one other thing j cole was talking about how his team was going to be really upset and they wanted to let him know when he was going to fold out of the beef they're like man i know my guys they wouldn't let this happen they're like yo cole you heard this you seen what just happened so maybe cole didn't listen to his team on that and then when he brought this to them and they told him nah yo, you can't let this one rock he was probably thinking, man, you know, they're still on that Kendrick stuff. I, I trust my own judgment with this instead of looking it over with them. This is another thing I don't want to believe. I believe his name is Ibrahim, the manager for J. Cole. There's no way this guy co-signed that verse. I don't want to believe that either. Oh, we need expeditiously. J. Cole needs to come back with another verse. Because J. Mm -hmm. Cole dropped a fire mixtape that we pretty... So basically, what... What this video is basically about is about that one song. I thought it was about Jay in general. What I was gonna say about J. Cole is that he been he ain't been he ain't been dropping the way he should. Be. He ain't been making that fire shit. If y'all hear shit in the background, it's my fan, it's hot as hell. So I need to go play. But yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Make sure to go subscribe to my boy. Hello, you guys send extras. Yeah. Let's go see these coming. J. Cole made a Made Lil Pump proud, Griffin. <laughs> Hell no. Cole getting ready for the fall off. Wow. Nah. Can't. That's fucked up. Mm -mm -mm. These bars. I tell you what the hell. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, this boy OGT Main signing out. Yiddy.